Happy Advent! Merry Christmas! One more day we're counting down. I hope you've enjoyed some of these projects. They're all a little bit different. Look what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have another fun twist on paper wire. We're gonna do her a little differently. As you can see, she doesn't have a face. You could put any face in there or none at all. Let's get started. So this is the template I'm using and I kind of drew this out on here to make this girl. We're gonna do this one a little bit differently. I'm using is my paper wire and I cut about a yard. First thing we are gonna do is fold it in half. So now you have your top. So what I'm gonna do is go around just about where I think her neck is and I'll open her head up right there. And I'm going to twist a couple times. Then form her head. And after you've done this once or twice, you can just free form this any size you would like. What I'm gonna do next is I'm looking to see about how long her arm is. And I'm gonna bring one side, the paper wire down and back up. And then I'm gonna twist a little hand and then continue to twist this all the way up. I'm bringing it over this way. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other arm. So the head is here, the arm is here. Fold it back up and do the same thing with this side. Twist to make a little hand. And then I'm just gonna twist my wire all the way up. And now this piece is facing this way and this is this way. I am just gonna wrap them around each other once to twist a nice secure area there. And then we are gonna form her dress. And right when I get to this where her leg is, I'm going to bend it down. This is a little different than just drawing and gluing down, but this is kind of fun too, because it gives you some more options to do some things and you can get really creative. And then bring this leg down. I'm gonna bring this leg up like we did with the arm. And I'm just gonna make sure my other leg is the same size. Now you can see the excess I have. All right, am just gonna twist this around here once or twice at the top. I'm twisting this end of this wire from the leg up down by where the dress is, just once or twice to hold it in place. And same thing, when I brought the leg up, I'm just gonna twist this around. Bring it to the back. Then I'm gonna trim these two ends off. And then you can kind of re reform your girl. When you get it on paper, it helps. And then you can decide right here, do the same thing that you did with the hand to make a fun little foot. And it can even stand forward, you can make it flat. I'm gonna twist this foot like I did with the hand. I think I'll bring it forward. Then twist my legs to give them a little more security. So make sure the dress is kind of how you want it because that's when we're gonna really secure it. And the legs I'm not gonna worry about too much because I'm gonna work with them later. So decide what color pattern paper you would like. So I want something right here. So what I'm gonna do is glue all around here and glue her on here. I'm gonna be using my Aileen's Tacky Glue for this. Now on this one, it said you could draw it out and put glue down, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put glue on the back of this wire. I'm gonna go right to there. So I'm just going around where the dress is Then I am just going to push this down. We're gonna let it dry. I'm not too worried about the white glue because it will dry clear. And this dries fairly quickly. Okay, so while this is drying, we're gonna get to the hat and the scarf. And for the hat and the scarf, we're gonna draw out this little pattern, cut this and this out, and then I'm just gonna cut this out. We're not putting paper wire on this. We're actually just using this as a template. So you can just cut this pattern out and then lay it on there and trace around it. And if you really didn't want to cut it, you could use some carbon paper and just trace it onto your, your piece. So all I did is cut out my template and I'm just laying it on here. You could redraw it again or just hold it over and 
cut your little pieces out for your scarf and your hat. And we're still waiting for this to dry. So we will work on the present she is holding. So I'm gonna take the template of this present, but really you could just make a rectangle. Just draw around the outside edge. So I just took the template, but you could make any size you want. You just want a rectangle for the package and you can do it out of any paper you would like. I just drew just my lines to make it easier so I don't go too cattywampus on this when I start gluing around. And just glue my paper wire down. I'm gonna just cut some of this excess wire off. It seems to, it puts pressure when you're trying to let it dry if you leave it on there, there we go. So I'm gonna let this dry and put aside. So these are dry, so what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna cut her out. I'm gonna start here and just get some of the excess off. And I'm gonna cut this dress out and I'm just gonna go around the edge of the paper wire. So I didn't put a face on her. You could do that, I just didn't. I'm gonna cut my present out and I'm just cutting around the outside edges of the paper wire also. And just cut this excess piece off. Then I'm gonna take some other little pieces and all I did with these, you could glue these down, but I found that if I just pulled them taut and just folded them over, it held just fine. Now I'm gonna make a little bow on there. And we have the template on, on the page, but you could also just freehand this. All I'm doing is just making a little loop, a little loop. Then I'll just twist these two together at the bottom. And this I will glue, I'll just glue right there. I'm just going to glue her hat on, and I'm just gonna glue this across the top. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the top of the paper wire. And then I'm gonna glue her scarf on. And I'm just gluing up by her arms and her neck area. And if you want to, you can glue the rest down. I just thought it was kind of cute just hanging loose. So I'm just gonna make a cute little sign that she's gonna hold in her hand. And I have this Merry Christmas stamp, so I'm just gonna use that. I'll just distress my sign a little since I ripped the edges. I'm gonna spray it a little, the water activates it. I'm gonna glue this to my stick and she is going to hold this sign. For this, I'm gonna use just a little bit of hot glue. Put that on there. She move her arms and she's gonna be holding a couple things here. And she'll hold this present and a piece of a tree. So with this tree, this was just some garland. And if you had seen one of our other videos where I used the heat gun, and that's how I made this look fun and flat. So what I'm going to do is cut it more in a shape of a long triangle. And I'll cut some for a trunk. And just kind of squish that down. Now, if you're concerned about this at all, you can just hot glue these pieces together. I think she holds pretty well together like that, so I, I'm not too concerned. You can lightly distress if you would like to. That's just really your preference. And I'm just using my vintage photo distressing ink. So now I'm gonna put the sign into her hand. And if you wanted to, you could even glue that. So you can find a stand. You could put her into a little box. You could carefully just bend her legs and stand her up against something. And when you have her feet glued down, she stays very, very nicely. So I think I'm gonna glue her feet down right here and here onto this little wood slice. And for this, I'm using hot glue to really keep her stable. And I wanted to make some snow on the ground, so I'm using a real cotton bowl. And look at this, is just one bowl. Isn't that fun? And I'm just gonna put it around, and we're gonna glue this down.
guys try this out? Wasn't this a fun way to do paper wire? But whatever you do, have fun. Happy Advent. Merry Christmas.